Hey guys, Khan here. Just want to make a quick little video here showing off this arcade hardware that I brought into my house recently because I switched out the hardware in my Guitar Freaks machine with a Digital 573 so my Guitar Freaks and Drummania machine is linked. So I decided to make a quick video here about this. This is a Konami Python 2 Bamani board. And this is the arcade hardware that runs Guitar Freaks V through V3, Dromania V through V3, DDR Supernova, Supernova 2, and a few poppin' music games. I'm actually not quite sure which ones. So I decided to make a quick little video here showing off uh, what it looks like on the inside because I, I couldn't find much information on this. So I think you'll all be a little bit surprised by what actually runs on on the inside. So let's go ahead. Lift off this top here. I already unscrewed it and everything. So, the inside here has a PlayStation 2, a Japanese PlayStation 2. If you have the American one, it's the same thing. It only runs on Japanese PlayStation 2 hardware. And a uh, whole separate I.O. board for the actual arcade parts. Now, it still runs on JAMA. For Supernova and Supernova 2, you're going to need an external I.O. board that kind of goes off a whole separate thing for like the lights and stuff like that, which is going to plug into that, and then that JAMA harness is going to plug into here. It's, it's really confusing, so unless uh, you've seen pictures or something like that, it's, it's very confusing, the DDR Supernova setup. But, yeah, for most arcade machines, like the... The lighting and stuff uh, for like the normal breakout and stuff like that, it's got to plug into the few ports in the front here. This was for the EMU slots, it's a network port. Uh, we got just normal R stuff here, the um, audio ports, uh, communication ports, which would be to link like to a Drumania machine and stuff like that, and then a standard. Uh, output for an arcade monitor and then of course we actually have the whole PlayStation 2 in here now when I say it runs on PlayStation 2 hardware that's only somewhat right because you're not really running on like a disc per se like here let me see if I can plug this in real quick you know I'll show you what I mean okay give me one second here can put this down while I move this Okay. Alright, so let's plug it in. I'll show you what I mean. Okay. Okay, now this thing's plugged in. And yeah, it for the most part I'll show you what I mean. Okay. So you're gonna eject the tray and you'll see there's there's nothing in here. It actually doesn't run on any discs. You only use the disc tray to install games, so all the games are stored on a hard drive, which for those that don't know, the fat PS2s can have a hard drive. It's got to be right behind this like network thing, you're going to pull it out, and there's a hard drive in there. Then that's what the PlayStation 2 uses as a game when it boots. And when you use this at the arcade, you can't actually hear the PlayStation 2 booting, and you can't see the PlayStation 2 booting. And it takes a while to actually boot the game. It takes probably between 30 seconds to a minute to two minutes. It, I, I'm not sure uh, exactly how long it actually takes, but mine takes a while. So, yeah, so there's that. Let me go ahead and turn this off here. And, yeah, if you actually take off the hard drive in the system that you were to put in a Japanese PlayStation 2 game, you can actually run the games on here, which is something really, really cool, I think. But uh, if you have this hardware, I think it would be a little bit more useful and for, the, for what it was intended for, which was for arcade use. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much the video I wanted to make here. I just wanted to share this information with you guys. Um, I would show you it running on, like, that little screen over there, but it actually won't boot the game because I only have one dongle, and I need the R1, which is in my my arcade machine, 
And I'm pretty sure you need to have the JAMA harness hooked up or else it won't boot it. It just kind of is just like, I don't know if you have the right kind of stuff to play this game, so I'm just not going to boot. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, as always, I'll put up some new videos here soon. Got some more DDR videos coming, uh, hopefully, on Sunday. I think I'm kind of trying to aim to get them done, but plan more for Monday. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video.